Uh, we can ask ourselves the question, is it important that I own something or is the question more, uh, do I need the use of the genes? And when you think of that, then using the genes is good enough. So we give you the experience of the gene, you can use the genes, and whenever you're ready with them, send them back to us and we'll make sure that we do something intelligent with the genes that come back to us. Yeah, you know, Bert, when I was reading about your company, I thought, uh, you know, leasing clothes uh, is, is an idea that has been around in terms of more the higher end clothes, like say if you want to yeah. lease a ball gown for a black tie event or a tuxedo or something like that. But for a pair of jeans, it's a whole different kind of thinking. I, I'm reading that about 40% of your customers right now are leasing the jeans. Is it an idea that takes time for people to get used to and comfortable with? Absolutely, yes, it takes time. We, we started off four years ago. It was kind of a, a crazy idea. But um, we, we feel and we see with our customers that it picks up. The, the, the group of customers is, is, uh, is growing. And, and uh, we get a lot of very positive comments from our customers that, that after sending their jeans back, they really like to, to switch after one year and get a new pair of jeans without feeling guilty, you know, they don't, they're not pushed by fast fashion, but they just can choose a new pair of jeans and they, they will make sure that the old jeans get uh, recycled. Uh, Bert, you spent some time in China in the textile industry. What from uh, your experience there led you to this idea? Uh, that's 30 years ago, but I've been now 30 years in the, in the garment industry. It's the second largest polluter in the world. And uh, we have to do something about it. There's a lot of pushing. A lot of people feel obliged every month or every two months to buy something new. Whereas if you have a beautiful made pair of jeans of high class material and high, high, uh, high quality, uh, that's good enough. So, you know, the millennials, they, 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 they want to put their vote of the, of the money they spent into something valuable.